Hello from D Street. It's May 31st, 2022. It's been a while since I posted anything, but I keep forgetting to video. But um, anyway, a couple of new things have happened on at the D Street house. So you can see my new shed was put in. Uh, they're supposed to come back tomorrow and paint another coat. And then there's three trim pieces missing from the window. So they're gonna do that. And then that'll be finished. And I'd like to create some sort of porch for the, for the shed. <clears throat> but it's so nice because I was able to put all my junk that's over here on the side of the porch. I was able to put that in the shed. And you probably can't see it, but there's my garden too. And there's a bunch of trash still right here. It's like my makeshift fire pit. So it's not technically, it's not trash, but it looks kind of trashy. So in a couple of weeks, somebody's gonna come and put in a walkway starting right here, starting from, of course, the patio. And the walkway is gonna go all the way down to the fire pit and they're gonna make a fire pit area. And then I'm gonna put a fire pit on there. I'm gonna try to make it a propane one so it'll just be easily turned on and off and nobody will have to worry about wood and smoke and anything like that. So I hope that'll work out, but I'm definitely got the walkway and the fire pit area planned. So I'm still working on the, on the fire pit itself. But Kaylee is gonna give me her two Adirondack chairs and I probably need to get a couple more. Um, I've actually got a couple of metal chairs at my house that my mom gave me a long time ago and I may bring those up here and put them here till I can afford some uh, some more Adirondack chairs but I think it'll be a really nice and a sweet amenity for the guests so um, my garden when it got tilled up the tractor you can see that brown area it's just he scraped it or something but it's just really brown and then when the guys came to put in my um, shed, their truck got stuck and so made some big divots right there and right there. And I filled them in, tried to pretty good, but I couldn't get them filled in completely. In fact, there's a place here. Yeah. Anyway, I can't follow the line. Right, right there. Yeah, that I didn't get, I didn't, there wasn't enough dirt to fill in. So maybe I can work on that a little bit more, but I hate that brown place. It's kind of ugly. And then there's that pile of brick that's been there forever. I'm kind of thinking maybe trying to make the fire pit out of that, out of the brick. And I've got a bunch of cinder blocks under the porch over here. I was trying to figure out how to use stuff that I already have to make my fire pit, but I don't know if that's going to work out or not. But let's walk down to the garden and I'll show that to you. It's been kind of an interesting. I don't, I think the soil may be kind of weird. I mean, I, I took it, I sent off a bunch, I sent off for a test and it came back pretty good. But um, I think, I can't remember what was missing, but I just didn't do anything to it. But I had to replant some of my tomatoes and the new ones don't look that great so let's see can you see them yeah there's they're still tiny but they just don't look very healthy and we got some peppers they look pretty good and here's a tomato plant that's original i planted it and it looked kind of iffy but i think it's grown out of it and there's one tomato down there and then there's another tomato plant that was original and it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. We'll see how that goes. This one's one of my new transplants. And my friend, Margini, she told me the idea of putting these PVC pipes next to them and put it, filling them up with water and then letting the water seep down into it. So that's gonna work pretty good. This tomato plant, I mean, the bottom of it looks terrible but the top of it looks okay. So I don't know how it's gonna go. So we'll see how that goes. And then I've got Mag the Mar Magnolia, what is that? Oh, I can't remember what that is. <laughs> okay, so I've got down here, I've got, what is that flower called? It's ridiculous. Anyway, I've got some 
peppers and some okra and some black eyed peas and some random tomato plants that came up from uh, compost. And here I've got some, uh, there I've got some uh, cantaloupe. Here's some cantaloupe. This one didn't do too good. It's got that one. It looks terrible. So it's not gonna go, I don't think, but hopefully I'll have enough with the other three plants. Here, last week I planted this watermelon. It actually looks like two plants. So we'll see how that goes. And then I've got a couple more bell pepper plants. And then I planted some seeds planted some squash and some corn which is kind of iffy but um anyway so that's what I've been doing working on I've been enjoying it maybe it doesn't I've got the drip hose here and so I've been up here enough to water it at least once a week a couple of times I've asked guests to water it too so that helps but, um, so, and here's this dead spot too. I don't know what that's about. It's just weird. I'm not sure what happened with the tractor that when the guy came and tilled it, but I'm hoping that the grass will grow in here eventually. It's just weird. I don't really understand what happened. Um, so anyway, I think I got, um, I put my grandmother's, Kelly had my grandma's swing that went on the house. And so he donated that back to me. <laughs> and I was so tickled because it's just the sweetest little swing. In fact, I came out to put my shoes on. I was gonna go for a walk. And when I was putting my shoes on, I heard the bells, the chimes going at the, down at the church. I have not been hearing the hymns being played on the on the bells so i was worried that they had stopped doing it the, the church has a different name and i thought well somebody else is having church there and maybe they're not playing the hymns but tonight at six o'clock they play like eight hymns one verse of the hymns and i just sat there in that swing and enjoyed it so much um it's just so peaceful and quiet so it's just a sweet little town so hopefully next time i video there will be a fire pit there. And let's see, I'll show you one thing. Like I said, I have the swing on my back porch. So I've also got this swing on my, I mean, I have the swing on my front porch and now this swing is on my back porch. It's like a hammock type thing. It's kind of expensive, but it's very comfortable. Um, and then I got some flowers and that's my mom's um, well, it used to be her high chair, but then when she grew out of it, I guess her, her dad made it into a regular chair and I remembered it was, she had it at the house, um, just sitting in the kitchen for years and years and years. So Christy was so kind, my niece that lives in my dad's house, um, she was kind enough to give it to me. So I was really tickled about that. I don't think there's anything new to show you in the house. Um, it looks pretty regular. I've been renting it out pretty, pretty consistently, making pretty decent money. So I'm really excited about that. It's just crazy how it worked out. I just love it. Cleaning is so easy. It's not a big deal at all. So I'm really thankful. I think that's it. So that's all I'm gonna sh video for now. So, here we are at Pocket Full of Dreams. I can't, you know, it's just the whole thing has just come, come around and happened. So it's pretty, pretty fun. I'll see y'all later. Bye.